Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Curran. And I'm Leslie Draffin. In tonight's top story, human trafficking advocates are pointing out warning signs after a series of massage parlors were raided in prostitution stings. This comes after raids at seven parlors in Bell County, including three in Temple. Channel 6 News reporter Curtis Quillen is here. And Curtis, the women in these cases were here illegally. Yeah, guys, I'm told some of these cases can be a little bit different than other human trafficking cases. Unbound, a group advocating for victims of trafficking says in a case like this involving a massage parlor, women many times get to the area legally but fall into a trap after being lured by a false job ad. Help looks different. Bell County Sheriff Eddie Lang says one worker among the seven massage parlors raided for prostitution operations has said she is the victim of human trafficking. But how can you tell? Jessica Foran is the director of survivor advocacy for Unbound, a group in Waco which helps trafficking victims and was there with Temple Police at all three parlors raided last week. She says in the illicit massage parlors, women tend to live on site, sleeping on mattresses or pallets in the back. Many of them, the women are rotated out uh, every couple weeks. There's always new women in and out. That's one of the reasons Britt Frank, who works next to one of the spas raided in Temple, says she called police about her suspicions. We talked to the people across across the shopping center from us just to ask if they noticed anything weird and they they had all said the same thing. Other signs include customers going in and out of the spas outside of posted business hours. Another witness of a Bell County spa wouldn't go on camera but says they saw a van pull up and drop off groceries about once a week. There's also a sign if you look on the price sheet at a spa. Lower than market uh, price for the massages. Foreign says another sign which isn't as obvious is if workers at the spa don't speak English and don't appear able to leave the property. Now, if you notice any of these signs at area massage parlors and feel it is suspicious, law enforcement urge you reach out. Numbers to area police and the National Human Trafficking Resource Center are available on our website at KCENTV.com. Guys. All right, Curtis, thank you very much. It is time now for a first.